All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Doctor Stone episode twenty-two. Uh, very excited to get into this episode. We are now uh, like two or three episodes away from the finale of the season. Oh, it's getting so close. Oof, I need that season two announcement straight away. I swear. Yeah, it's getting really, really like it's. I say this every week. It's really good always, but it's getting really good now. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what happens in this episode. And uh, let's get right into it. All right, take two. Try again. There we go. Magma. It's going to be an interesting team up. <laughs> I suppose. Sick. Hmm, what's Magma thinking? Of course, this is what he's thinking. <laughs> Hmm, what did Jen say? I think he's probably already aware of what Magma might try. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, it's gonna be a good episode. So yeah, last episode... Uh, Seeker pulled through on the found that fucking shiny rock tungsten or skeleites, I believe. Um, Sanku called it. That's fucking awesome. Like, uh, I don't know how many of the uh, how many vacuum tubes or filaments or whatever they need to make, but uh, the big rock they had, I think I need to make a few, maybe. I don't know. I would, I'd assume that I've been enough, but I suppose it's always nice to have a lot more. Of the heat, most heat resistant metal in the world. Fucking cool. Ugh. And uh, and yeah, now we're going caving with magma. Like, how's this going to go? But it's going to be awesome to see like, a caving as well. See what else they can find. Apart from Skelei, Tungsten. They might find something else that they need. Or some material that might be useful to them further down the line. Possibly. Which would be fucking awesome. So yeah. It's gonna be I think it's gonna be more of like a darker setting episode, I suppose, if they're inside caves. Which is different. So when they usually like work at night. It's dark, but it's it's different. <laughs> mm -hmm. <sighs> well, tired today. Let's get it. The treasure. Yeah, bro. Is it warm in there? Yeah, I feel you, Chrome. Be on edge. I mean, I'd like to give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe this could be his redemption episode, but who knows? I mean, you keep calling them cell phones, but really they're just like landlines, basically. But they're, 
I suppose they are cell phones in the sense that they don't need to be powered like by mains or whatever. <laughs> what an interesting way to do it. Mika. Well, that backfired, didn't it? <laughs> I don't think he did. I don't think he did. I think he, like, realized there'd be, like, a harder spot or something, like, that Senku could land on. Hmm. They did. Not really. Shit. Deep pit. Well, they're okay though, apparently. Oh. <laughs> mm. Uh. <laughs> True. Mm Is that a smart idea? Before I get about diligence. Six hours to fill the hole. That's way too long. Just barely. Six hours, what a waste of time. Gotcha. The break. Uh -huh. True. 
No, they worked hand in hand. Yeah, divvying up the work. Very true. Like the builders, and yeah, exactly. The builders, the the arti architects and the builders work hand in hand. Without the other, they can't do the work. Fair and square. I guess. <laughs> This is way faster than I thought it'd be. This is not going to take six hours. I'll show you how much of it you had to know. What did they build? <laughs> Great school science, she it, the siphon. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Just a gear. Fair enough. Damn, being able to do that while you're keeping yourself afloat in water, that takes some strength. Cool, action shot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll accept that. Where'd you get the fish from? Were they storing it in the bags? Yeah. <laughs> why why are you imagining it like that, Sanku? What the fuck? <laughs> uh. What are they doing? Oh. So you can use the bamboo filaments for light bulbs, but they need proper strong filaments for the vacuum tubes. Ooh. Scone. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You can get more than just uh, skeleite. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Like minerals and stuff. Sick. Scarn deposit. I'm going to have to look that up. Magma. Because <laughs> it's magma, lava, on the ground. I get it. <laughs> but also magma, obviously. 
What's that? Oh, pickaxe. Yeah, knew it. This is true. Get more than that, like, come on, bro. All those minerals, good shit. What other cool things could you make with, like, a really heat resistant metal? The treasure of friendship. Come on, Chrome, this isn't fairy tale. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> yeah, don't say it then. <laughs> good, good, good. Getting all the other ones. Manganese that's used for manganese batteries. I don't know what manganese is. <laughs> what did Jen say? If you do. Hmm. Yeah, what is Conum? Hooker. <laughs> the hack, huh? You've got to be right off the ball there. That's, that's definitely not what's happening. You have needs you need to have more trust in your friends. The fuck? Oh. <laughs> How the fuck did they figure that out? Well, Jen obviously told them look like god what? Oh, that's fucking cute. <laughs> oh, that was the... Uh, oh, that his dad was on the space station. It's not up there anymore, though. Rock day. Oh. Who knew it was Senku's birthday? I doubt he would have told anyone.
Hmm. I mean, if, like, the best, you know, the most knowledgeable person there would be Jen. If he can do it, then it must not be that hard with the equipment, obviously, that they already have to make uh, a telescope. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it still works. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, so who who knew? Obviously Jen, but like how did he know? Yeah. Oh You smart Jen, you smart. Damn. Oh. Oh. My heart. Yeah. Oh, my fucking God. Jen liked him from the start. That's my squad right there. That's my squad. <laughs> nah, that's not cringy. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, what a great episode. The show hits when it when it when it has to, man. God. Alright, let's skip to the end. Oh, jeez. Let's get it. See what the preview is. Or the next episode tile that is. Wave of science. So it's like uh it's like the the what are the telephone waves, whatever the fucking called. <laughs> so that means it'll be done next episode. Question mark, that'd be cool. So yeah, that was, guys, that was episode 22 of Dr. Stone. Oh my god, that was such a nice episode. <sighs> January 4th, Rock Day. What an interesting day. I mean, obviously it was picked, like, specifically like that. It's still cool, though. Um, yeah. So we have Magma on our side now, basically, basically on our side. And, uh, I told you, a nice little redemption episode for him. And, uh, oh, with... I actually for, I forgot, like, um, because little things like that you kind of easily forget. But it's so cool to see that Jen was just absolutely on his side even before he met him. Well, not on his fully on his side, but he was like so interested in him and he knew he was amazing even before. So it's like Jen plays like the long game, but he every, he do, everything he does is like for a reason. And he's like being a mentalist, and it's like ah, oh, it's so fucking cool, man. I love the I love the the combination of like teamwork, like it, like Senka was saying, uh, strength and smarts, how they go together, how they t team up together. But it's like how Senku and everyone in the village teams up. Senku and Chrome, Chrome is like Chrome's like another another brain to like another science user, another brain to have there that sometimes switches on when Senku's too busy to think about other things. And Senko and Magma is strength and smarts. And, you know, Senku and Karko is like a warrior. But it's like a warrior mixed with, you know, a samurai sword that Senku came up with. And the same with Kinra and Ginwa. It's like, he can do so much. You know, with Kaseki and Sika and everyone. And Jen, obviously, Jen. For people who, like, haven't read the manga, going on, Jen and Senku become more and more of a better duo. 
Uh, I don't know if that counts as a spoiler or not, but it's like true. Uh, it's just I love the combination the the the, fra- the friendships and the relationships in the show is just top tier. I love it because they always get the best. They always work to mix well together. They always get the best out of each other. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for the next episode. Whew, oh, it's gonna suck. It's gonna suck when this this anime is over. But like I said, the season two announcement will probably come pretty much straight away. But then we've got to wait like a year, maybe less, depending on the popularity of it, for it to come out. So, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. <sighs> what a great episode. But yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reaction, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and peace out.